This is an oversight. Somebody should have seen this and go like, oh, hey, what's up, you guys? Sharks Prime here doing another two-in-one Marvel Legends action figure review on the Marvel Legends Fantastic Four Vintage Collection Retro Card Human Torch and The Thing. If you're trying to get your Fantastic Four figures, you can do so. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. Dark Side Toys is a store for you. Link below. And while you're down there, I ask you to please hit that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And yeah, one of these is a lot heavier than the other. Uh, I can't tell which one. But anyway, on the side of the packaging, there's nothing really going on. On the back, you can see nice images of the Human Torch and the thing. And you can see the interchangeable parts. There's a read-up over here for the Human Torch. And then there's a read-up over here for the thing. And then you can see the other figures right there. And then nothing on the side, nothing on the top, nothing on the bottom. So let's get to it and crack these things open. <laughs> And here is the Human Torch and the Thing figures out of the packaging. I've honestly been a little bit more excited for the Human Torch figure, but anyway, let's take a closer look at the accessories, and then we'll take a closer look at the figures. You get open hands and fisted hands for the Thing, and then you get the odd number of fisted hands. Three different fisted hands for the Human Torch. Again, that's frustrating. No right open hand on the packaging. He has a right open hand. I uh, just get frustrated with that, and then you get the Flamio effects right over there. Just getting a close look at this hand, you can see that we do get paint over some of the flame so there are opaque parts to the human torch figure and then I guess like with the two fists on the right side you could either have an opaque flame on there or no flame on there I don't see the point I would be fine with just this and an open hand right over here these little flame effects look pretty cool you can see the yellow and the orange kind of fading in and out what I love about these things is that sometimes I get fooled by them thinking that they're painted but this doesn't look like it's painted just like the thinner parts look more yellow and then the thicker parts look more orange <laughs> So I don't know why it took me a second to realize it, but yeah, we get two new head sculpts with this figure, and this has Kirby written all over it. I love this one. This is really, really cool looking. You can see the open mouth and the tongue. It looks like first appearance, original, early days of the thing. They got the blue paint in there for the eyes. Must check that. A little bit of paint on the top of the head right over there. And there's looking at the back of the head. And then we have another head sculpt, which I actually like more than this one. Oh, I love this one even more so. Look at those teeth. Ah, oh, that looks so sick. Yeah, this is my favorite thing head sculpt out of all of them. Uh, here's one of the Walgreens exclusive ones right over there. Here's another Walgreens exclusive head sculpt to compare it to. And then here's the Super Scroll Build-A-Figure Wave version right there. So yeah, I really like these head sculpts a lot. And of course, the figure's the same. It's the same body mold, just painted differently. You can see the treatment is very similar to what we got on the Super Scroll Build-A-Figure version. So same kind of paint over the orange plastic. It looks like they have a little bit more of that on the back of the figure. Uh, comparing it to the Walgreens exclusive, though, I like this the most as far as the body paint. All that black wash right there and the cracks and everything looks dope as hell to me. I wish we'd gotten that on on this so you know yeah but what can i say man i mean we have the orange or the you know tannish orange over the regular orange we'll mention that when you move the waist cut around you'll see some of that white paint kind of bleeding around a little bit yeah you know that could be a big problem for some people but yeah the figure looks all right yeah i really like this body mold a lot it's just not my favorite paint job for it i like the sculpted detail right there and then you get peg holes at the bottom of the feet <laughs> Now with the Human Torch, we do get a repainted head sculpt. You can see from the Walgreens exclusive version right over there, you know, same sculpt and everything. And then same back piece right over here, but it's a different body mold and it just doesn't stay on as well as it does on this Sunfire body mold. But back to the face over here, I really wish Hasbro kind of used the same idea that Diamond selected with their Human Torch figure and gave us a regular Android Human Torch face to swap because that's really what I would like to do with this one. I really think this is more pro Appropriate, you know for the Android human torch. I like that gold right there for the eyes though That looks really cool. And I love the pinstripes that you could see, you know with this flame on effect We do have opaque flame right over there and you'll see that throughout on the figure And I do think it looks good with this red. I like the translucent red throughout. It's not my favorite version It reminds me of uh, I think it was the wave 2 movie human torch figure I had that for a while I used it in the collector documentary and ended up selling it a long time ago uh, But yeah, kind of wish I had it just to compare it to this one 
one because this reminds me of that figure very much so you get a peg hole right there on the back and yeah i think you know the sunfire body mold works well i feel like they've reused this before you know they probably just took it from the other version which you know it looks like it's just the same thing right yep just painted different right so you know they got reused parts over here i mean it's all reused but yeah i do like the black paint over it and everything but i don't know if this is my favorite version and there's like no paint on the back of it at all but you get peg holes so i'm not going to go through a thorough articulation segment we've seen this figure two other times before in this sunfire body mold well we've seen that a lot more so uh, i will say though that this translucent red plastic does not feel brittle to me or anything like that you can see some opaque pins this figure feels like it's going to hold up okay i feel pretty good about it and then as far as the thing figure well i mean these two new head sculpts they have the same range of motion than the other head sculpts so nothing really new over there now to measure out these two figures you can see that the thing is standing at about seven and a half inches and human torch is standing at about six and a half inches and for a human torch comparison you could see our johnny storm figure with the contemporary suit and then here's the walgreens exclusive human torch which i will say i think i do prefer over this one i mean this one's still very cool definitely like the body mold more but I don't know, I like my Human Torch in orange. And for a thing size comparison, you can see we have our Walgreens exclusive thing, and then we have the contemporary thing from the Super Scroll Build-A-Figure Wave, and they were a little less heavy-handed with the paint on this one, right? I mean, it blends in nicer than it did on this one right over here, but still, I love this black wash over the orange. It just looks cooler to me overall. I just like that one the most. But the newer Gritting Teeth head sculpt is my favorite head sculpt, and yeah, so if I had this repainted on that body, that would be perfect maybe with these shorts too that would look a little bit cooler maybe if they just got this painted with the wash that would be best i don't know ah wait and i put the contemporary head sculpt on this newer figure right here and that looks pretty clean so if you wanted to do that that looks really good and then here's the new human torch and thing figures next to the diamond select toys marvel select human torch and the thing and if you have the android head human torch figure i just wanted to see how this would fit on here and uh, it does not port on but if you just rest it on there and maybe use sticky tack or something, I think that could work. Like, I, I may have this on display like this. I don't know. I think that's pretty cool. I'm looking at it from the side over here. It's still not too bad. Oh. Then here's the Human Torch and the Thing next to the Vintage Collection Doctor Doom figure. And then here's the Human Torch and the Thing next to the other figures from this wave that I've already reviewed. We have the Mr. Fantastic. We have the Ugly Stick Invisible Woman. And we have the High Evolutionary. And here's the new Human Torch and Thing next to your average six-inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. And I will bring stop motion back to the channel. Just you wait. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, show some love to this channel by hitting that like button and if you're new here hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell and a big thanks to all these people over here that are in a position to support this channel and help it grow if you're interested link in the description below and these figures are both pretty cool not totally 100 necessary for me personally but i do think they are very cool figures if you missed out on the walgreens exclusives i think these are the ones that you're going to get but since i personally have the walgreens exclusives i'm happier with those but that's just my opinion regardless i still think these are pretty badass figures like i like the body molds i like how they came out for the most part my complaints for them are pretty minimal i don't really have a whole lot to complain about uh my biggest gripe really is not getting an android human torch head for the human torch that would have been really cool to have had I really would have liked that but you know uh hopefully they release that head later on with another figure they could do that right they've done it before just throw an extra head in there make a whole different character that would be pretty sweet but yeah not bad figures i'm happy with the two new thing head sculpts so those are pretty sweet it's just you know not my favorite thing paint job and i like the human torch it's just not my favorite human torch paint job and at the price point around 27 bucks for each of these figures i'm gonna give them a sun rating of it's not so bad and i'd like to know what you think i really don't think there's much bad stuff to say about these they're just not my absolute favorites you know so i'm really curious what you guys have to say about them so let me know in the comments section below if you want to see the latest in marvel news you can find it all over at marvelousnews.com and if you want to stay in touch with me on social media you can find me on instagram twitter twitch and tiktok and i will catch you guys later peace Hey, I'm sure.
Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.